Did really well. He's pulled it back for Kenny. Finds right, Tom Kenny on to his right foot and he cracks it home. There's Kenny. What a goal that is by Tom Kenny. That's an unbelievable strike. And it comes from Kenny. It's a wonderful ball. Absolutely outstanding from the foot of captain. This is Kenny though going for goal. And Mitrovic was there. Well, was that rehearsed on the training ground? If it was, it worked absolutely perfectly. And Mitrovic scores yet again. His Babel did really well. He's pulled it back for Kenny. What a start to the second half for Fulham. And Tom Kenny scores his first Premier League goal of the season. And a really good finish as well. He's just passed it into the back of the net, Kenny. He didn't panic. And Fulham deserved it, Gary. They've come out of the blocks quickly in the second half. And they deserved this lead, quite honestly. He could have panicked. He could have lashed at this, but that's a precision finish. Really good finish. Cool as you like. Side footer, right in the corner. There's Kenny, what a goal that is by Tom Kenny. Absolutely outstanding from the Fulham captain. They've got their first goal here this season, the Premier League, and it was some goal too. Deep in stoppage time, it's back to 2-1. That's what he has to do more often. Shouldn't be leaving it this late. Tom Kenny getting shots away like this on the edge of the box because he's got the talent. That's an unbelievable strike. He is decoyed over really with a good chance. He's equalised. Well, for the back on level terms, Bobby decoyed over Reed. After their desperate start, for them have recovered here, and it's one-one. Really moving the ball well, Joe. I was just talking about them moving that ball. That back three wouldn't be settled. Wing backs not knowing where to go. You can see that line of five at the back, but still they pick out the holes. Lovely little ball in from Kenny. Great first touch from Decord over Reed into his path. And good drive across the keeper, Pickford. Fear for Leicester. They could slip out of this league. They could be in trouble here as well as Vinicius. Finds Tom Kenny on to his right foot and he cracks it home. Fulham's third in what has been a fantastic first half for them. But it has been desperate for Leicester. But so much to admire from Marco Silva's team in this first half. Well, that's his first Premier League goal of the season, Tom Kenny. Now, you don't normally see him strike the ball that well with his right foot. But if you allow somebody to come inside, but have a look at this. Again, we talk about the press. Nice little move, move from uh, Harrison Reed into the path of Vinicius. Shapes as if he was going to go and shoot with his left hand side. Sell Soyuncu, an absolute dummy. There we see, there's his shape. Comes inside, and it's a great strike towards the far post. Plenty of grass to run into for Kenny Tete, who's screaming forwards here, looking for Kenny, who takes the touch and makes it four. His second of the afternoon, and Fulham are running riot here at Craven Cottage. An electric break forward. And Leicester City's afternoon is getting worse and worse. His first touch is exquisite. His second finds the back of the net. And this has to be game over. But what a counter-attack that was from Fulham. Lamina. That's a great challenge by Tom Kearney. And here's Pereira from Fulham. Make something of that. Kenny's there again, down he goes. And it's a penalty for Fulham. Well, Tom Kenny made a lot of that happen before he was actually decked himself. Well, Mario Lamina stayed down, but 
I like you, Martin, thought Cairn. He did brilliant to rob him of the ball here. He's 100% in the Premier League from the spot, and he still is. And Fulham get the lead for a second time, early in a half. Can they hang on to this one? Alan Downing looking to play it forward, but Reed stood in the way. Kenny. Deckard over Reed to his right. And the cross found its way over to Willian. Now Kenny. Deckard over Reed! Fulham ahead for the first time in this match. And Bobby Deckard over Reed on as a substitute and made the difference. Well, as this game went on, I said Fulham were gaining more confidence and it was starting to suit them more. I think the pace had gone out of Liverpool's play, a lack of urgency, which meant the counter-attack was always on and we see it in full flow here. That caught over Reed initially, I thought this ball was quite poor, but Willian picks it up. That caught over Reed, lurking at the back stick, out jumps Simakas. It's a good little chipped ball in as well to find him. I think it's Kearney, isn't it? Does it really well. Oh, Yates with a mistake. It's Pereira. It's Kearney. It's five. <laughs> the boyhood Nottingham Forest fan inflicts what may be the final blow what Fulham have done all game. You've got to give them credit, they've been aggressive, they're forcing the mistakes. Pereira does very well initially, plays the ball back to Kearney, I think, who initially gets on the end of the interception. Calm and composed, just that little stutter, takes a couple of touches, doesn't rush it, waits for Vlakadimos to make the movement, and then just slots it home, and it's a, the cherry on the top of a very good performance from Fulham. It out to Wilson, who's causing West Ham plenty of problems. And what a goal that is from Harry Wilson. A delightful strike as Fulham's day gets even better. Great ball, wasn't it, from Tom Kearney. Again, West Ham not getting near the passer to set that first chance up. But Wilson, what a goal. Yet. Bassi just belatedly getting back to his feet after the heavy challenge. And it comes from Kenny! And in he goes from Raul Jimenez! Fulham back on level terms. Really well played by Fulham. That's certainly woken everyone up in the white end of the cottage. Again, we saw an earlier opportunity down the left-hand side where Anthony Robertson got himself in a bit of space and picked up Raul Jimenez. This time it's Willian who makes sure that he's hugging that left touch line. It's a wonderful ball across the 18-yard box. Just begging to be tapped in. Not quite as easy as it's been made to look, though. 